Fiji sits top. After day two of the 2024 inaugural OFC Women's Futsal Tournament, after picking up a second win in the tournament, the Jerry Sam coach team defeated Tonga 4-0 in the second match at this tournament yesterday to follow up their 2-1 defeat of Tahiti in the opening fixture on Sunday. Just want to say I think it's the girls and uh, I think uh, we started off uh, a bit uh, slow yeah, with uh, the mindset that you know whoever plays Tonga always you know uh, they will like you know started very slow so this is a thing that we don't want it to happen for the next game so yeah so it's a things that we, we have to consider for the next game yeah well for now we have to do a, a recovery as much as possible so that we can we know that we have a big match coming up on on, on wednesday and it's it's a, it's a do or die for us so you know uh, it shows that we uh we want to stay in this competition and we want to fight for the 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 final sport host nation solomon islands on the other hand suffered a 5-1 defeat in their opening match with Tahiti yesterday. The Atabako Solomon Islands coach team, despite creating a good number of opportunities in the first half, were forced to trail 3-1 at halftime via goals from Tahiti's Lokelani Hauata, Marina Rahema, and Aurela Tisot. And in a whole lot of space, and absolutely a sucker Solomon Islands team Zane. captain Ilan Peggy also squad the national women's team only goal in the tournament in the first half. Chances were there for Solomon Islands in the second half, but unfortunately, they were not able to convert them into goals. Two more shots from Tahiti's Batea Niwi Din and Kohai Mai would seal the bounce back from Saturday's defeat to Fiji. Kohai Mai. For Solomon Islands, the loss means they need to defeat Tonga in day three of the competitions tomorrow if they have a chance of progressing to the finals playoff. As, as we know in, in the game, I think the first match is very important yeah, for me win him. And also for me as a coach, me, me believe so much Lord Gilsey. Yeah. Um, it's just not today like they come out and then or not execute them the way uh, in, in the game plan, yeah? No game plan where we plan him out. Um, also, we have so many chances. Uh, I think these chances have embarrassed and cost him a lot. Yeah, for him to fight back if if him not finish him, then what no problem. But he might have come back to him more, yeah? And also, uh, defensive part, Lomifala, where me always um, encourage him girls for keeping him defense, but him not come out the way he like him, yeah? I think maybe uh, the ladies are not... Uh, really confident more, I don't know, but we believe so much that uh, we will go back again for next game, let me follow, me follow, work hard for come back stronger. Yeah. For me, as, as coach, me is so confident on, on our game plan. Yeah? I think that's the main thing. Um, for me, Seleva, me believe no more, some girls must uh, step up, yeah, step up to the to the, to the game plan, or by me say the understanding of, of coming out and then make a win, yeah, do a win for us in that one. So, uh, me believe too much, but what's our dream? But it's just for Gata. Ability to Gata now is very important for Gata to come out stronger. Um, and if I go back, go back to the drawing board, and if I work on areas where girls where are lacking, more, um, things where if I need to come back stronger. And I uh, um, Tonga, by him, by him, second game, but I don't like to lose him game here too. So um, if I believe so much, but if I go back and work hard on that more. Yeah. Matches for day three of the competitions tomorrow. Meanwhile, sees Fiji taking on New Zealand at 3 p.m., while Tonga takes on Solomon Islands 5 p.m. in a must-win match for both teams at the Friendship Hall. Martin Taromane, Tavoli Sports.